Hi there, here's how you can uh, create a really great uh, homepage with the Woo theme storefront theme. Here's an example site that I've used that I'm going to show you how I did it in a second. If I just scroll down, you'll see it's got a very unique layout. So um, the storefront theme is great because when you install it, it has its own template that brings in the homepage, but you're very restricted on what you can do with it. So you can't change the category names, what categories are shown there, or not very easy at least. Uh, whereas with this technique that I'm going to show you now, you have 100% control over this. So it's just two simple steps to take. And if I go into the edit screen, I will show you how I did this. So you go to edit page. Now this top slider here is coming from our Storefront Pro plugin. But we're talking about the stuff underneath here. So the first thing you need to do, and this is probably the most important thing you need to do, is over here on the right hand side, you will probably have it set as homepage template. And what that means, it's going to it's going to automatically bring that template into your homepage for you, which is going to dictate what's shown on it, which we don't want. So uh, you've got two options here, but I would probably just select default template. And that essentially is a blank template. And now, once you've done that, you can actually build out your site using blocks with the new editor. So that's what I've done here. So if I just scroll down and explain what blocks I've got in here. Now, obviously, you can use any third party blocks you like when you're building this stuff. So this first one here is just a three column block, with, which is our Caxton layout block. And then under here, it gets a bit more interesting. So this is uh, one of the blocks that we've built, which is a masonry block that just lets you show your categories um, in this lovely masonry layout. Now you could use the um, inbuilt WooCommerce blocks for this. They've got um, free WooCommerce blocks that come with WooCommerce now where you can actually decide uh, what categories you show on your homepage. Uh, ours is a bit more advanced and you can create this really nice layout and, and you've got some layout options here where you can do things like change the grid gap and all sorts of whizzy stuff. So if you want a bit more control over the, um, your categories and a, a more visually exciting experience, then you can do that with our Storefront Blocks plugin. Again, this is one of our plugins, but you could use the inbuilt WooCommerce Blocks plugin for this. Uh, this is just a section uh, with a block and another Storefront block called the Masonry Product Category Grid and that just lends you, um, lets you bring your products in by category. Okay, if I scroll down, you'll see there's just a shape divider block, but we're just dealing in blocks here. So you can use any third party blocks to build this homepage now. Again, that's just a paragraph block, sorry, heading block. In here, we've got a product square grid block, which again is one of our uh, plugins that are part of our storefront blocks plugin. Where you can do again, you can change in here, like change the number of rows, the columns, the grid gap again, uh, really whizzy stuff. And lots, lots more besides. Uh, scroll further down, there we go, another block, that's our shape divider block, that's part of our Caxton plugin. And then here we have actually one of the um, WooCommerce blocks that come with WooCommerce, and you see this is kind of the design that you're gonna get. So it's just gonna have the standard layout, um, and you can change things over here, like you can turn stuff on and off. But it's all built with, built with blocks, with the new block editor. That's the, that's the joy of this, that you can use any third-party blocks to build your page. But just to recap, the most important thing is that you select you, this away from the home page template. Once you do that, then you've got complete control over your home page and you can design it any way you like. So thanks very much for, for watching. I hope you found that useful.